Now that Meghan Markle has had time to adjust to being a royal, she's become used to the constant attention and criticism. And the criticism has been constant. It seems that Markle has faced more in her first year than any royal before her. How does she do it? Markle keeps pushing forward in a way that might surprise you. Meghan Markle has faced plenty of criticism, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, Mark Cuthbert, UK press via Getty Images, although the Duchess is currently on maternity leave, she's still had to face a barrage of criticism. Most recently, it was judgment over her excessive use of private jets. The public was upset because she'd recently made comments that every person should do the part for the environment. And then she and her family took four private jet flights in three days, which is terrible for the environment. Critics called her a hypocrite for her actions. Before that, the public was upset over Markle's clear push into politics by the choices she made while editing Vogue magazine. And then there was the report that the Sussexes had enforced unnecessary rules onto their neighbors at Frogmore Cottage. We could go on listing everything, but in the interest of time, we won't. One thing is clear, the public is highly critical of Markle. Meghan Markle continues her work for charity. View this post on Instagram Spotlight on Luminary Bakery. Today we shine a spotlight on at Luminary Bakery and the amazing women of this inspiring and sustainable grassroots organization. What they've created at Luminary Bakery is exceptional, it's a space for baking, healing and rebuilding. When I visited earlier this year I was struck by how the baking itself is a means of therapy for these women, which in many ways makes complete sense, feeling they had no control over their lives based on their previous and often harrowing circumstances, they found comfort in the measured nature of baking. Mixing equal parts of one ingredient and another could yield a perfect dessert, but the act of doing so provided personal balance. So while the baked goods are absolutely delicious, it's the story of how the program at Luminary Reshapes lives through baking that is the actual icing on the cake. The Duchess of Sussex earlier this year, the Duchess of Sussex visited Luminary Bakery and had the opportunity to break bread with the women, literally and figuratively, whilst listening to the stories. They shared how they've rebuilt their lives following the challenging life experiences and the significant role that Luminary Bakery has played in helping with the personal restoration. The Duchess of Sussex chose to include this small bakery tucked away in East London for the September issue of At British Vogue, which she guest edited. This bakery has been making a substantial difference to the lives of women in the local area over the last five years and opening its arms to vulnerable women whilst providing job skills, career support, mentoring and coaching. The combination of these like-minded women supporting each other, both on the staff side and from the students, is proving to be the perfect recipe in creating this amazing, positive environment. If you find yourself in East London, please stop by and support the women of Luminary Bakery and the impactful work they're doing. Photo copyright at Luminary Bakery A post shared by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at Sussex Royal on August 22, 2019 at 5.51am Pacific Daylight Saving Time next month Markle will return to work after her three-month maternity leave in September. The Sussexes are heading to Southern Africa for a state visit which will mark her official return to work. Until then, she's been slowly easing her way back into royal duties by continuing her work with the charity she developed. Smartworks is a foundation that supplies clothing to women who are trying to get back on the career ladder. Markle has been heavily involved with the group even attending a photo shoot of the clothing last week. Behind the scenes, Markle has been collaborating with designers to develop a capsule wardrobe collection for Smartworks. In her Vogue issue, Markle revealed that she's been working with Marks and Spencer, John Lewis, Jigsaw and Misha Nonu. Markle hopes that Smartworks will encourage women to pursue the career goals by providing them with a wardrobe that makes them feel professional and confident. 
For every item sold from the Smartworks collection, the store will donate another item to the charity so that there will be plenty of clothes for women in need. Meghan Markle isn't bothered by critics even though people continue to debate Markle's actions and criticize her every move, she's unfazed by the attention. Markle knows about the controversy surrounding her, but she doesn't dwell on it by reading the tabloids. Instead, she tries to focus on her work. According to a source for Vanity Fair, Markle tries to ignore all the negative attention. She's moving on and riding above the storm, said the insider. She's not wasting time or energy on the row over private jets, instead she's getting very excited about the new launch. The launch they're referring to is the opening of the Smartworks charity, which Markle has been very focused on. As far as she is concerned, the source continued, it's a storm that will blow over. She is focused on bigger things right now. The question now is whether Markle is smart to focus on other things, or if the heat on her is so intense that she should be worried about public opinion. Sometimes, it seems that one of Markle's flaws is not caring enough about what others think of her situation. When you're a royal, you have to care to some extent.